Okay, so I had to change some of the geometry from what I was starting with originally. You can kind of see the angles. Oops, they're sort of been upside down. Uh, the angles were a bit more pronounced. So I changed up the new angles and I'm just dry fitting this on top of my drawing. We talked about starting with three. This seems like it's a good continuation for my drawing, but here's what I'll do to ensure that I'm going down the right path with all of this. I'll continue to walk these things down, and at this point, you'll see any red flags if they're going to exist. So all of this works for what it is I want to do. I probably could get away with making all of these individual parts a little bit shorter or increasing the angle just a little bit, but uh, I've got enough width here to ensure that I'm able to get what I need to get with this. So next step here is going to be to alternate where this layer has a joint using the face grain of the second piece on the, uh, the first layer. So second layer overlaps, 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 and you obtain an incredible amount of strength with doing this because it's all glue surface area here. And I'll continue on making this the mode throughout the thing until I'm up to my final width for the apron. Uh, the stack lamination approach is pretty fantastic um, and it affords all kinds of strength and very little in the way of short grain issues or uh, limitations with the material. Look up Wendell Castle's work and look at his stack lamination. He made a career out of using this technique to make massive forms and really intriguing shapes. So next up will be the glue up.